Hands up. Follow with me. Three steps. Step straight in, jab. Take your rear foot, sit back at six o'clock on the clock. Slide it over to seven. Now from here, slide it back to five. Now we're gonna do a double slide, watch it. Jab, slide, slide. I go, step in, jab, slide, slide. There you go. Now watch what happens when you do the double slide. Coaches, you're gonna do your double jab with your left hand. Now, is that body rhythm or is that foot rhythm we're working on now? Foot rhythm, there you see it? So you can use foot rhythm to make your opponent miss. He's not using his hands to block. He's using his hands for offense. He's using his feet for defense. Easiest way in the world to handcuff a man's offense is movement. I don't care who you are. I can take any technique in the book away from you using proper movement. But folks, without learning head rhythm, body rhythm, and foot rhythm, you can't do that. And I don't know of a single strategy in the fight game that works without some kind of movement. Movement are the keys or the tools, the vehicle, which is going to help you create tactics and crack tactics or the use of principles which help you create strategies. So you're not only learning how to be a strategic fighter, but also a tactical fighter. All right? But to be either, you've got to work on the third step, which is the operational level of combat. Tactical level, operational level, strategic level, just like the military. And most martial arts schools don't teach all three levels. They teach one, the operational level. Technique execution, that's it. Don't know the difference between the word tactic and the word strategy. Guys, by the time you got to be a black belt, don't put one on my black belt so you don't know the difference between those two words. So go see over there where John Graydon and Joe are, grab one of my books and look at the glossary in the back of that or in the manual and try to get those terms down. Now watch the drill here so you do it with him. He's gonna step in and jab, one. Count of two, my hand's gonna go right at his face. He's gonna slide off to the side, boom, goes right over. I'm gonna pull my hand back. He's gonna wait until he sees my next hand coming. He's gonna wait, 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 right at the last minute. And then wait, 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 wait. Now he slides over and misses. Now what happens when I miss here? A realistic guy will be throwing the right hand. What am I open for? Right over a straight counter right hand. Does everybody see it? All right, now watch me coach you so you can do it right. One, two, three. Got it? A little faster. Here we go. Ready? All right, go. One, go hop. Step right into it now. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay? Nice and easy. Now don't jerk. So you just go pop, boom, boom, okay? And now I'm going to pop, pop nice and easy. Here we go. Watch that flow. One, two, three. Good. Right again. One, roll, two. Did everybody see what we're doing? Let's go. Play ball. These are called slide steps. You're learning this up. This it up. You're working on your penetration skills, the ability to bridge the gap, the ability to engage without being hit. This is called angling, learning to create angles to get your opponent. Something else is not taught in martial arts. Let's get it down. Go for it. Steve, come in. Hands up. By the way, you guys are done. Steve Smith uh, signed up my credit school that I had with Bob Wall, which we stole in 1968, April 1968, to Chuck Norris. He was a, one of my first white belts. He stole it. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> He's the only man in the world that ever started off with me as a brand new beginning white belt and went all the way to black belt. The only man in the world. It's kind of an honor, you know. And. He, at one time, he was one of three people who had a black belt certificate, both for me and Chuck Norris, you know. But until you get one from John Graydon, doesn't count. Okay, hands up. Okay. What is that? Where's that school? <laughs> His school is the world, right, John? Go on, what is it, Mata.com? MartialArtTeacherAssociation.com, and you see the whole world's there. You know what I mean? The best stuff in the world. And at the best price, the best stuff at the best price. And I wouldn't say that. 